All right, guys, today we're going to look at a, another method to solving systems of equations, and we're going to use the uh, TN, TI Inspire today to do this, our uh, big yellow calculators. I think that uh, y'all will enjoy using this method. First, before uh, we go into the actual problems, let's familiarize ourselves a little with the calculators again to make sure we know where the necessary buttons are that we need to use to use this calculator. So first, when you open your calculator, you should see a screen like this. If there's already some calculations or graphs up there, there's a X in the upper right-hand corner. You can scroll up and hit to, uh, to get back to the screen. First thing we want to do is go to New Document. You can use your mouse and scroll to New Document, or you can simply press the number one button, or you can use the arrows to go over to it. I would just click it. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to add a calculation, add a graph? geometry so forth and so on for right now we're just going to do add calculation and that will get you to the basic screen of where we can do addition subtraction multiplication punch in our functions and things like that now the couple of buttons that I want to familiarize you with first the menu button okay we'll need to know that we'll need to know where our X and our Y buttons are our equals button and then our basic numbers plus and minuses things like that so again the menu our X and Y our equals button our numbers plus and minus okay and remember at any time in this video if you need to rewind pause go back you can do that so first let's look at the function that they give us today the first one that we are going to look at is the system of equation of y is equal to x plus 3 and y is equal to negative x plus 9. Now in the past on the calculators we graphed these and we look for the intersection of these okay, by using the intersection function. Today I'd like to use a little bit different method for doing this. So we'll go back to our calculator. What we're going to do is first we're going to go to the menu option. So we're going to click on menu. Okay, and since we are in algebra class, we will go to the algebra function. Okay, and then as you probably can guess, we're going to go to the solving systems of linear equations. Now we're going to leave everything default as it shows here. The number of equations that we will be using is 2, and the variables we are using are x and y. You can change that, but there's no need to, so we're just going to leave that alone. So then we're going to press OK, and then we see two boxes that pop up. We're going to pop, or we're going to punch our two equations in just like they look. We don't have to solve these for y or anything else. We're going to punch them in just like they look. So the first function, in case we've forgotten, was y equals x plus three. So we're going to come here. We're going to type in y, our equals key, x plus three. Okay, after we get that done, we can press the down arrow, or we can go and we can click in the box there. Our second equation that we had was y is equal to negative x plus 19. So we'll type in our y, hit our equal sign, negative sign, x plus 19 and we'll press enter and then it gives us the solution out 811 that means that the x value is 8 and the y value is 11 which should make sense because if we plug those back in there 8 plus 3 is 11 and negative 8 plus 19 is 11 so this is a method that we can use by punching in our equations now if you notice both of these were solved for y the beauty of using this function on the calculator is they don't have to be solved for y. Now when we did the graphing method, we had to solve both of them for y. So I think you might like this one a little better. So let's go back and let's look at the next equation. If you notice, neither one of these are solved for y. So we're going to go through the same steps that we went through last time. And we're going to plug these two functions in and get out our values. So first, our steps to do that again. As we click the menu key, we go to Algebra, 
and solving systems of linear equations. And again, we're going to leave everything default. We have two equations. Our variables are x and y. Just go ahead and click OK. Now let's punch our two functions in. Our first function is 2x minus y is equal to negative 5. So we get our 2x minus y, our equals key, negative 5. Now that we have our first function plugged in, we'll plug our second function in. Negative 2x minus y is equal to negative 1. So we'll hit our negative C, negative sign, negative 2x. Let's see, and that was minus y. So minus y is equal to negative 1. Okay, and now we will hit our enter key again, and we get negative 1, 3. Which again shouldn't make sense because if we plug negative 1 in for x in the top equation, that will make that 2 negative, and then when you subtract 3, negative 2 and negative 3 make negative 5. Then in the bottom equation, when you plug negative 1 in, the negative 2 becomes positive 2. You have 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. So this is a method that you can use with a calculator by using the function notation to solve. So this is a nice little program. Try to utilize this. Remember the steps again are you go to your menu function, you go to your algebra function, you go to your solve systems of linear equations, you leave everything in the default settings, and then you simply type in your equation exactly like it looks, press enter, and it will give you the answer out. Take a few minutes to uh, play with your calculator a little bit, become familiar with it, and make sure you understand how to put these equations in. I hope this helps.